same crease, same battery, same camera, same screen. Then every year we go, oh, 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 oh. I don't want to talk about it anymore, but in order to be painfully honest and to often to balance out all the bull crap that you're going to hear from everybody else, I'm going to talk about it. When are we going to stop doing this? Samsung, please wait until you have a reason to release a phone before you release a phone. I've decided that when I get mad about something, I'm going to talk about it because that's, you know, I'm going to be painfully honest. How's that with you? Samsung just had their big, hey, we got the Z Fold 5 and the Z Fold Flip 5 and yay, they had the event while I was asleep. And when I woke up, I looked at what the Z Fold 5 was versus the Z Fold 4. And I was like, why? You can't even argue that there's a reason for this phone to exist. There's just not enough of any kind of change. There's there's very little change. They changed the hinge. There's there's this an upgraded chip. And there will be some people out there who will tell you that it's absolutely worth it because they changed something. The comments will say there's absolutely something in there that makes it worth the whatever. But I'm here to tell you that this is like year four of the same phones across the board. It's not just Samsung across the board. We get the same phones every year. And I, I just get so frustrated. And every year, Samsung, Samsung trots out these phones last year for or earlier this year, I guess they didn't give deep discounts for the S 23 line and nobody bought it. They're selling this phone for $1,800. But once you trade in a phone and get the discount that they offer, you're actually just paying like 800 bucks. So why not just charge 800 bucks? You know why? Because they're padding their balance sheet uh, so they can say, hey, we made this much money, which would be twice as much money as um, as they would be able to say they made if they didn't do the trading. You see, this is like that sort of shell game uh, accounting that companies like to do. It's all propping up an industry that has become so boring and so without without any new innovation that we just don't get anything new and every year people go to these events they, they invite youtubers to the events now i i used to get invited to the events i don't anymore and there are reasons why i'm sure but i don't samsung doesn't send me phones and so when i have to think about getting a phone. I have to think about, is it worth spending the money on this phone? A lot of times I get like, you know, the techie FOMO where I'm just like, Ooh, a new thing. And I want to go out and buy it. The same thing happened with the pixel fold, but I didn't, I didn't, I might find a minute of weakness somewhere along the way. And I, and I might. So if you're going to get mad at me for saying something and then doing the opposite thing, just go ahead and do it. Sometimes you know, I, I just want to try out the tech, you know, I have a problem with spending money and I'm trying to get better about that. Made a video about it earlier this year, but now I'm looking at the Samsung and let's just, let's just peruse the specs. Okay. I got CNET's website up here. They were kind enough to put in uh, the specs here. And, and so let's just take a look. We got uh, Z Galaxy Z Fold 5. They even gave us the Z Fold 3 here. And let's just peruse here. We've got 6.2 inch AMOLED screen, 2300, 904 pixels. Oh, same. 7.6 inch on the inside, same. 120 hertz they don't i mean it was 120 hertz last year as far as so the cover screen 402 ppi same opened up 6.11 versus 6.1 and 5.11 versus 5.21 oh we've got like what is that a hundredth of an inch well yeah not much different there weighs 10 ounces less or 10 grams less. I don't know what grams are. I'm, I'm an American. Android 13, Android 12. This will get Android 12. I think this gets Android 12 as well. So I'm going to need a 50, 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel telephoto, same. 4 megapixel under display camera, 10 megapixel cover screen camera, same. TBD, 4K, 4K. I guess that's video. Snapdragon Gen 2. Snapdragon Gen Plus One. I don't know what that means. This was the Snapdragon 888. Yeah, I, 
I've heard that there's better battery life with the Gen 2. Battery life on the Gen 1 wasn't that bad. Uh, we've got 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, 512, and one terabyte. Last year we had 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256, 512, one terabyte. 440, 4,000, 400 milliamp hour dual battery. I guess they have the battery split, which can be good in some cases. Uh, 400, 4,400 4, 4, milliamp hours, USB-C, 5G enabled, IPX8, 5G, IPX8. They got rid of, it looks like, the 30 times space zoom, because if you guys didn't know this, the space the space zoom was, um, that's a lie. Samsung actually, I can't, I still can't believe it. Samsung said that you could like take pictures of the moon. The camera was so good. And what they did was they, um, anything that looked like the moon, they, they would insert a picture of the moon. That There's a video that somebody did where they just put like a big white light on a dark card and then like showed the camera and it put in a picture of the moon. So this these companies are so freaking shady this stuff is all so shady and i just get so annoyed now i do this for a living and i partner with companies and i you know make money partnering with companies and i choose things that i feel like i want to talk about and that i think will be valuable and interesting to the people that i make videos for and uh, this is not it there's not too much going on in in the smartphone world, and there hasn't been since 2018, maybe 17. And we reached peak smartphone then, and now we just sit here and we talk about the same stuff every year, and everybody makes like, blah. I see people saying, talk about these great new innovations. Love, what do you think about these new Samsung innovations? All these creators are saying, Samsung and their new innovations. They ain't got shit. Sorry, I cursed. They ain't got poop. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's a new hinge mechanism. Who cares? Same crease, same battery, same camera, same screen, although it's brighter. I don't care. It's all the same stuff. And every year we go, oh, 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 oh. I'm tired of it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But in order to be painfully honest and to off and to balance out all the bull crap that you're going to hear from everybody else, I'm going to talk about it. And if you don't like it, well, you just wasted your time watching this video. Uh, so don't bother with this. If you got the Z Fold 4, stay with that. If you got the Z Fold 3, maybe you could, and the screen hasn't broken already, <laughs> maybe you could make an argument. There's nothing. This is a boondoggle. This is, there's nothing to see here. This is not the phone you're looking for. If you want this phone, buy last year's phone. Okay, because last year's phone can be had for cheap everywhere. So please, people, let this be a voice of reason for you, even though I don't seem very reasonable. Don't buy this crap. Tell Samsung you, you want something that actually matters before they release a new phone. Something that actually will make a difference in comparison to the thing that you had the year before. Don't do it. And creators, stop saying it's new and exciting. Stop it, because it's not. Okay, so till the next time, I'm out.